Hello and welcome to A Book in Five Minutes. My name is Lindsay Milner and I'm the owner of Silver and Training, a training and development organisation. And we work with people to help them take back control of their working lives and learn to love Mondays. While I've been doing that work, I have read a great deal of books books on personal development, business development, effective management and books on thinking and I thought it might be a good idea to share some of the insights that I've gained with those books with you. This week's book is a slight departure from the norm in that it is a children's book. It's aimed at pre-teens and early teens I guess and it is you are awesome by Matthew Said. If you've seen any previous videos, you'll know that I've reviewed a couple of uh, Said's books, uh, Bounce and Black Box Thinking, and I really liked both of those books, the especially Black Box Thinking. The ideas in You Are Awesome, a lot of them I recognise from Bounce. He's talking about how we need to practice to get good at something. And the idea of this book really, it, it's personal development for that sort of early teens age group and, and pre-teens to help them realise that actually they are awesome, but they're going to have to work at it. It doesn't just come naturally. You know, nobody is naturally a great footballer like David Beckham or nobody is uh, well one of the things that he picks out a couple of times is nobody is naturally good at maths everybody has to learn and has to practice to be good at maths and the same thing applies to any skill anything out there that you want to do it requires a bit of practice so i found the book quite encouraging and I really like that it's trying to instill that into um, young people. The book was actually recommended to me by a teacher who teaches uh, year five and year six, year so 10, 11 year olds. I have to admit I was a little bit concerned as I read the book that some of the language used and some of the ideas, I wasn't sure whether that age group would be able to understand them. I've spoken again to the teacher and he is currently using it with his year five and year sixes and he is really taken with the book. He really likes the book and he says that his pupils like it too. I think it's a good one not not to just give to your preteen and say there read that but to get involved with them. So what I would recommend probably is read it yourself first or read it alongside um, your youngster and you know get to grips with the ideas yourself if you're not familiar with them if you are not sure that you sort of already grasp these principles then you know explore them with your youngster I think that's probably a really good way to do it because that way they're not just reading something from a book they're getting that reinforced by the people who care about them. So I think using it in schools is probably a good idea, a good way to do it. Uh, but, you know, if you're a parent of a, a youngster at that age, then that's probably the way I'd suggest going about it. It was I quite enjoyed reading it for my own sake. And um, actually one of the, the sort of, you know how they always put a bit of blurb on to say how fab this book is. There's a quote from Dermot O'Leary who says, um, I wish I'd had it as a kid. And I've got to admit, a couple of times I was thinking, oh, I could have done with knowing this a bit earlier myself. So I think even for adults, there's a lot that can be gained by uh, sort of having a look at the book and taking the principles on board. A lot of the principles... If you've already read Bounce, you'll find a lot of those principles very similar to the ideas that are put in there. But obviously the language is adapted to target it more towards children. The examples given in there tend to focus more on things that they would know about. Like, um, I don't know, I think Jay-Z and Beyonce and David Beckham, uh, Steve Jobs are, are ones that are, are quoted in here. Which obviously as grown-ups we can recognise too. Um, but he's tried to make it sort of 
more accessible for young people. So if you've got a, a, a preteen or an early teen who is struggling maybe with issues of confidence or self-esteem, then yeah, I think this book probably is worth investing some time in. But as I say, I wouldn't just give it to them and expect them to read it and take the message on board. I think it's probably important to have a dialogue with them about the book. That's this week's book in five minutes. Uh, it's called You Are Awesome and it's by Matthew Said. And um, let me know what you think of it if you've come across it. What, what are your thoughts? Until next time. Bye.